much as possible share it because there is a goal behind this. It's not just going to be opening and looking at this case because we're going to do that. But we're also, there's a goal here. Um, I'm going to wait to really get into this before I talk about it. Uh, let some people get here. Um, yeah, just started, K-Man. You are right on time, dude. I, uh, I'm actually kind of running around like a chicken with my head cut off right now. I, <clears throat> come here. Come here, K-Man. I want to see you. His birthday's in a few hours. Look here. Everybody tell K-Man happy birthday because <laughs> he's getting ready to be another year older. Say hi. Say hi. Precious. Maybe that should be her name. Because she's so precious. She's so precious. So, if you go click down on my description, you'll get a real quick rundown and a link. Um, so, here's my first request, and I will continue to make this request throughout, of anybody who would uh, feel inclined to do a super chat tonight. You can still do a super chat, but I just don't do anything more than a dollar. If you got something you want to say or a question you want to ask where I, I might miss it, we'll do it that way. But if you can, uh, I'd really like to uh, try to help out Miss Renee. Um, that is what I'm talking about, uh, and uh, that is a goal that I have. This is not something that she's probably 100% okay with me doing. To be honest, uh, Miss Renee's got a lot of pride, and I realize I'm probably going to hurt that a little bit, um, but it shouldn't be because Miss Renee's been there in our community and been there for a lot of people, and she would be there for you if she if if you needed her. I'm sure uh, for any type of support that she could give you, because that's just how Miss Renee is. She's a Southern lady. And she's got the accent to prove it. She's got a YouTube channel. If you guys want to go see exactly who I'm talking about, there's a link to Miss Renee's channel right down in my description. Just go down to the ladies, uh, ladies of Ration, Ration, MRE, Women, something like that. I can't remember what it's labeled. But she's right there. Um, so what I'm going to request of anybody who can, anybody who will, I'm going to get a GoFundMe set up. Uh, I really, I, I thought about it too late. And, uh, so, that, w this is going to be an ongoing thing that's going to last, I'm going to say, probably about two weeks. Um, and I have a few ideas, but I'm open, I'm open to your ideas. Here, how, let's do this. Let's do this. How about you guys look at me while I'm talking, that way I'm not just, um, you know, you're, I'm not just a voice, and you're not just hearing me on the side, right? So, let me uh, let me start off by coming into this streams chat somehow. Oh, hi, hi, and putting a link to Miss Renee's PayPal. So, anything that you guys might want to send along as far as like a super chat and I'm going to tell you what I feel comfortable telling you is how I'm going to put that I don't want to get like I don't want to get too personal but I also think that it should be somewhat personal so that you understand the severity of the situation I've never done this this is not something that I would typically do um, I felt basically an urge that I had to do this. Uh, the only other time I've ever done something um, for anybody was uh, when we done something for G. Schultz. And that was uh, that was a lot different. Um, we kind of banded together and got G. Schultz a camera. And uh, this is this is a lot different. This is this is Miss um, Renee actually like she actually needs our help. Um, she's got a lot of really bad health conditions going on. Her heart's bad. Um, she can't work because of that. And Miss Renee definitely will work. Uh, she actually went and worked with... Uh, she went and worked at AnnaAllen.com and 
lived with Miss Marilyn for a while, which that was, I, I think that was awesome to get those two hooked up like that. And which they, they, uh, got together and came to the meetup together, which was, which was cool too. I think they stayed in the same room at the meetup together, which was cool. But go to annandallen.com. That's, um, that's Miss Marilyn. And she is also a huge community member. And, um, anyway, so, Miss Renee has um, has the heart issues. She used to work at uh, building rations and stuff as well. So, I mean, like I said, she's really been a been right in the center of the community for quite some time. What I, I, I'd say five years, probably right around that four and a half five years. That just off the top of my head, uh, her health is not not good at all like i said she's she just had a heart surgery she's gotta have another one um and she had a water leak her hot water tank leaked and i don't think it's even working properly um uh, she can't turn her water back on because the hot water tank's messed up and she's been literally walking down over the hill to the creek filling a bucket up and you know doing it that way which i know has to be killing her um, so that's a goal is to get that fixed. Her vehicle's broke or needs, I think it needs tires and she's also behind on payments cause she's only making 800 bucks a month. Um, and that is, uh, I want to say that's retirement. She gets 800 bucks a month in retirement and look with the way inflation has happened, like eight hundred dollars right now is like half of what it was a year and a half two years ago like it's like having 400 bucks like you can't you can't survive um after i got hurt i uh i was paid 120 dollars uh i was paid 20 dollars a day i was paid 140 dollars every seven days so 280 every two weeks and that's what i had for income for years uh started back in 2016 this is not something that i i don't know if i've ever even actually said this out loud on my channel i'm just kind of trying to relate and let you guys know like I, I get it um i've been there and i know i know this isn't easy so, I am going to request that Miss Renee, any time that somebody sends something into her PayPal, which I'm sure she will get a notification for, that either she comes in to the chat right here and I make sure that I see it and recognize it unless you do it anonymously, which I don't know how that works with PayPal. Can you do that? Probably not. Like, well, kind of, I guess you could. I mean, they would, she would have your return, but she might not have your information. I'm not sure how that'll work. I know you can when, when I get the GoFundMe set up. <clears throat> um, which GoFundMe is going to keep some of it, So and PayPal doesn't, if you send it for friends and family. Um, yeah, this, like I said, this is not something that I, I would just if any of you guys out there that are inside of my orbit basically and i consider you a friend i would try to do something like this for anybody who's inside my orbit and even people who aren't uh i would i wouldn't come on to my channel these are people that are linked to this channel that have been here from way back you see what I'm saying? Like the, the, the but I, I would help strangers out as well. Like I, I want, I want to help. <laughs> I don't want, I, nobody should have to be in the, in the situation that Miss Renee's in right now. Um, so here's a couple ideas that I have. 
other than the GoFundMe. Um, I have an abundance of rations. Now, when it comes to actual quote-unquote good stuff, like reviewable type stuff, uh, I don't have an abundance of that, I would call. I would not call what I have an abundance. But, if I have anything that I can put out there, which I'm going to go through things this week and see what I can come up with, and I'm going to do basically like a makeshift auction. That way, you can help out and get something out of it. All right, I think that, that that would be a good way to do it. And a lot of these things that I have, I haven't bought within the past. Some of them I have bought within the past two years with, with the higher prices. Um, a lot of the stuff I bought before that I won't have as much in. But it's, everything's, you know, it's up to you guys to determine how that goes. Um, that, that, I'll put what I can out there, what I, what I can find. Um... I've got some stuff that uh, that like Steve sent me because I, I've never, ever, once, actually I did one time, I, I sent Gundog a spoon. Steve sent me a box that had like 18 or 20 MCI spoons in it, maybe more, I'm just guessing. Half of them sealed, half of them not, half of them, the ones that were not came from like reviews that he did and, and stuff like that. And one time Gundog had a had a fan that wanted a spoon that came from steve and i was like he asked me if i had one i was like yeah dude i got a bunch it's like uh i'll send i'll send you that and i'll send him something else uh to make it it wouldn't have made sense to send a spoon anyway but i sent him a ration and sent him that um uh, that's the only time in forever that i've ever parted with anything and i do mean anything that steve has sent me outside of myself eating it um i don't consider that parting with it i consider that consuming it and using it but i've never parted with anything whether it be spoons like i can't review those i can't you know what am i going to do with these outside of let them sit in the box nobody else gets access to these and i know a lot of people really like steve and you know would would die to have a, a piece of something he's done i have that i have a bunch of that and if that can help Miss Renee out in this situation, uh, I'll, I'll see what I can dig out and see what I can't uh, see what I can't do. Like I, I don't know, I don't know what that list is going to look like. I don't know what I'm going to come up with. I have no clue. I have not went through my my things. I don't know. Um, I don't know what it's going to consist of. Uh, I I feel like that's a silly kind of silly example that I used, but i didn't use that as an example i used that as my experience of the only thing i've ever let go that he sent to me in a box that's the one and only thing that i've ever ever turned loose and uh like i said i, I mean i it's sitting in a box here when somebody else could maybe enjoy it and it's not something that i can actually review or something like that which i, I mean i'd never part with something he sent that i could review because that's just not how how the code works but these other things i think we can set up some sort of auction of my stuff uh, maybe a few of those things like I, I i just talked about i don't know what it's going to look like exactly um but we will see we will see what i can come up with um uh, hopefully i can pull some good stuff like uh i'm, I'm gonna probably steer away from something that i think that might be uh dangerously uh, you know if if ed if dangerously not edible <laughs> i guess is what i was the term i was looking for something you can't eat um just because that uh most of you guys i 99 percent of you guys i 99.9 percent .9 of you guys probably i would trust to send something like that too but i can't take a chance on that but that's besides the point i can i can control that a aspect of it I'm, I don't know if you can tell. I'm just kind of going through this in my head as I'm, as I'm talking about it. I'm kind of making it up as I go along. Um, I just seen Miss Marilyn say good idea, Miss Gale. Let's see what Miss Gale had to say. Not sure how long it would take me or how fast I could sell it. Uh, I could make a quilt. Oh, cool. For the raffle situation, I have claw set 
you have cloth set back for it and access to the means of quilting it. Oh, wow. See, like I think a quilt, <laughs> if I, I think of a handmade quilt, like I don't know what they're going for now, but I know I've seen them sell for a lot of money. So I don't know. Miss um, Gail, thank you for uh, even the thought. And I think most of you guys in here right now probably know who Miss Renee is. And if you don't, like I said, there's a link. There's a link at the top of the description to what I've got. I've, I've had her PayPal since like a long time, probably three, four years, maybe longer. Um, I think she bought some cases or something and sent me a, a case of, were they fresh? Maybe like fresh MREs or something. I had to pay her back and that's why I ended up with her PayPal. And that's what I used tonight because that's what I had. So. Wow. Wow. Miss Gail says she quilted one for four. Wait, did you say quoted or quilted? Okay, you quilted one for 400, 400 bucks. Wow. That's what I was thinking. Like, I remember him being about 300 bucks the last time I seen him. That's been a while. I'm getting ready to uh, go through my closet. <laughs> I don't know what you use for quilts. Um, and I, I, like, I hate to throw away every single thing in my closet or, or just it end up basically getting thrown away. I have clothes from the time that I was in probably, I still have clothes that I had when I was in high school, ninth, 10th grade. I still have jeans. I have shirts, button up shirts. Um, I just now thought it would be kind of be cool to have a quilt made out of something like that. I don't know if that would be something, um, that's even a thing, but it just seemed cool in my head. I just saw a text. I can't check it though. I saw a text come in from History Savior, but I couldn't. I couldn't read it because it went away too quick. Uh, G. Soltz are tuned in currently. Sick. Oh, G. Soltz is sick. He says he's going to tune in. Um, but like I said, uh, Miss Renee's situation. She's definitely not. She's definitely not doing all that good. Um, and. I have other ideas of things that I'm going to try to make happen. Some things from a distance and maybe, just maybe, this is going to depend uh, on her allowing me to do this. Um, I might try to organize as many people as I can that are able and willing to make the trip. Um, I'll bring and provide rations and a place to stay. Wherever that may be, I'll get like a suite You'll get a couch and a, maybe a mattress on the floor or something, and we'll we'll like make it a whole thing, and uh, maybe be able to do some repairs. That's that's what I'm thinking. I think she's probably I'm going to guess like a six hour drive for me. Um, so that that's a thought that I had, but again, that'll also kind of depend on her. The thing would be the batting, depending on the size, the cost is higher. Always use cotton. I don't know what batting is. No clue what that is. Yeah, kind of like a sleepover. Well, yeah, I mean, it'd be like a weekend, probably. A weekend with work. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll, I'll send that along. Um, I'll do that tonight. As soon as we finish up. All right, Eeyore just sent it, sent that in and said, uh, for Renee, he said, I'm a rebel. <laughs> Thank you, Eeyore. I appreciate that, my dude. Uh, you're too kind, man. And I'm sure uh, she's very, very excited to see that. And like, I know this, this whole doing it through the PayPal thing is a little strange and weird, but I, I, the reason is because I don't want Google and YouTube keeping anything i don't want them getting any of this at all like because number one they don't deserve it number two she needs it so that's why i i wanted to do it that way and there comes horny animal with another for miss renee i will make sure that happens tonight as well thank you so much to both you guys and thank you for miss renee i'm sure now, you guys are probably really sick of looking at my ugly mug and i will continue to bring this up and before i go any further let me, this is what I was going to do earlier, and I, and I, why the heck I didn't do it, 
I do not know, but I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to put a link in this chat, and I'm going to continuously do this to her uh, to her PayPal. And hopefully, I can't see Miss Renee's text right now. I'd like for her to be able to text me and say, recognize this, you know, check this. But uh, maybe Miss Marilyn can help me out because where she's a moderator, Miss Renee's a moderator, their names stick out to me more that kind of like a super chat they're a different color um their names and and stuff at the top so i i see those more so let me uh let me find my live stream here okay click into it turn the sound down go in here oops nope not going to let me copy her of course it's not going to let me copy it okay that's fine that's fine i got it right up here right here somewhere here we go let's see r d a l l e n 3569 at Yahoo. Dot com, right? Yes. Okay. Let me copy that. Copy. And there. That should be in the chat. Uh, History Savior just came in and said, send this over as well. I'm on the road. We'll add a World War One Two helmet. Uh, canteen and a few other things to the auction i'll mail them to you awesome <laughs> that's awesome dude um uh, yeah that is really cool i appreciate that and i will uh wow it's not it's not using that as like a link I, I was hoping that would be a clickable link and it's not in my description either which i don't like that so you guys literally have to type it in it's the only way you're going to be able to go to her paypal and actually type it in and click it in um I don't know what Miss Renee thought. I don't know if she thought that, that folks wouldn't want to help, but uh, you're wrong. That that you're wrong if that's what you thought. I hope that's not what you thought, but trust me, we're gonna make this happen. We're gonna help you out. Uh, yeah, uh, G. Schultz, uh, PayPal is the preferred way. That way, Google doesn't get the get their huge cut of like thirty percent. When you guys send that in, like three bucks on every ten is what they're keeping. So, something like that. Um, uh, there was something else I was going to do, but I, I've I've totally brain farted, and I'm gonna we're gonna open this case. Yes, Miss Marilyn, she's got a lot of pride. She's got a lot of pride, and, I, and like I said, I know I'm gonna hurt that tonight, but. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> Not laugh. I'm just, I, I know it's, it's, I get, it's like a nervous laugh. We should look at this case first. This is a case of 19, yeah, 83. So these were put in the bag or in this box, maybe. On the 184th day of January or March? No, March 1st. I'm going to guess that that's March 1st. I think, yeah. No? Probably not. Because that's September 30th of 83 and also September of 85. And 184th day, would that be in September? I don't think so. Surely not, would it? 365 days in a year, half of them would put you in June. At like, 100 and a Hang on. What day of the year? Can someone tell me what day of the year the 184th day of 1983 would have been? I'm pretty sure that would have been June. Uh, oh, your birthday is 9-27-83, so this is really close to your birthday. See, I had a case of June 1982s, which was my birthday, and uh, eating history, they kept them. 
They still have them. I hope they still have them. Uh, no guarantees there, though. Uh, thank you again, History Savior and uh, R.I.E. Eeyore and, hang on, Horny Animal. That's who it was. You folks for uh, for sending in the Super Chats. And like I said, I, I know uh, everybody's not comfortable with, with the whole PayPal thing. And that's why I'm going to get a GoFundMe set up and, and, and all that. 92783, uh... Five years and one day older than me. Born in 88? Kitty, honey, you've got to quit. You've got to quit. Here, come on over here for just a minute. She gets these sores on top of her head and under her chin and right here on the back of her neck. Like, I don't know what this stuff is. I use the flea comb and I comb it off like little tiny scabs all the time. I don't know what her deal is. It's something she inherited from her mom, though. The neighbor cat. Her mom has it. Um, let me look up what the 184th day is, because I'm sure that's got to be around June. Let's see here. Which month and day was the 184th day of 1983? June 14th. Wait, is that right? May 30th, Memorial Day, blah, blah, blah. Hang on, here we go. Month calendar, 83. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Come on, that's not what I want. Here we go. Days and numbers. Let's see here. Count back. 184 is. Uh oh. Uh oh. Is it going to be in June? Is it going to be in June? Oh, look at that. Look at that. June 30th, 1983. No, wait, that's 181st. Wait, is that right? Days remaining. Days. Okay. So wait. 184. Right here. July 3rd. It's July 3rd. Day 184. So I wonder why it's got a September date on it. That's kind of weird, actually. Huh. I'm, I'm a little confused, to be quite honest. Hang on, honey. Sunday, July 3rd. That's what I came up with, too. Sunday, July 3rd. So the day before the 4th of July. That's kind of cool. Uh, December 14th, 1982 pack date would be more impressive. Just saying. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll say, wait, December 14th. What's December 14th, 1982, CT? Uh, thanks for the super chat, too, by the way. Um, December 14th, 1982. Well, your birthday's only a... Uh, what, a day different than mine? In 1982, yours, your, CT's birthday is June. Uh, and Mike's is June 21st of 83. Mine's 82. Same as uh, CT. Oh, that case you just bought. Oh, yeah. Oh. So these are only like, uh, what, about six months difference then? Not well, a little over six months. Six months and like, uh, what, like ten days or something? No, six months and you said December fourteenth. This is the four, the third. So about six, about a six month difference, roughly. Bands are coming off. I don't know the condition of these, other than uh, the the people I got it from. They were they said that they thought they were kept in a basement. Uh, don't know that that's true, and they came from Minnesota. I want to say they came from Minnesota, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, Tim, you're a day after me. I'm the 24th of June. Which, uh, different year, but... Ugh. So let's inspect this a little bit. We got a sticker on this end right here. We got a little bit of water damage. Can I pinch out? No, I cannot. So you can see like a little bit of a water stain right here. Uh, 
DPSC-owned stocks account number. Notice this product has been held under controlled temperatures and humidity conditions and should not be considered overage because of the date of the pack and the date of the pack should not be the controlling factor in determining assurance and utilization of this product. Further refrigeration is not required. So these were refrigerated. I'm going to assume for the beginning of their life. And these, I don't know if these ever got shipped to combat and brought back. They got shipped to the desert and shipped back to the States, which did happen. Not usually. Dude, this cat is killing me. All right, you've got to stop, honey. You got to, you got to quit. You can't climb the ladder. You're going to knock stuff down. Go on. All right. Let's look at the other side. We got another sticker over here with the same exact information on it on this side. And nothing else is printed on this side. Now, on this end, this is where we get into some real information. That's where our half moon is at. Let me, uh, here we go. You got your stock number up here or your contract number. Meal ready to eat individual, 12 meals. And then, for some reason, it says AA. I don't know if there's other things that are there in this on this year a 16 pound case now that case that i had was a really strange weight it was like 13.9 pounds if i'm not mistaken the 1982 case that i had and it made it really unique me and k-man had a whole discussion about this years ago uh anyway um these are right away foods out of mcallen texas so rafco before they were rafco few years before they were rafco anyway i don't know when they switched over i don't know if it was like 86 87 can't remember when it started showing up on uh mre bags now i just noticed a big like moldy looking stain on that other end down there and i think it smells funny uh Probably shouldn't put my nose right against it, but I did anyway. <sighs> Gonna slide the sleeve off for the first time since 1983 that this case has, since that part of the cardboard has seen daylight. Very cool. Very cool. Complies with spec. Okay, here we got February of 83. And I guess that's when the box was made. And this this here looks pretty familiar. Um, the MCI stamp was pretty similar looking with all the test weights and uh, like crush like crush points per pound, 283 pounds per meter squared foot, M square foot. Uh, what's that say right there? Can't tell what that says. Nope, I can't tell on the camera either. Mint, in, I think it's like M I N C O M S W T. I don't know what that is. Size limit right there says 100 inches. Gross weight limit 120 pounds is what the box can hold. Uh, the bursting test is 350 pounds, which I think it's 500 on the MCI cases, if I'm not mistaken. They're a lot more heavy duty than, well, not a lot, but a, a, yeah, a little bit, a little bit more heavy duty than the, uh, than the MRE boxes themselves. There's like staple marks. What is that? Pinch back out here. That looks like staples. Huh. Man, these things are this thing's glued really, really well. Oh man. Knocking stuff down back there. Huh. Well, maybe the bottom's easier to open. Let's take a look. In a book. Rainbow. Uh yep. Yep, it's coming open from the bottom. That's okay. That 
sucks. Oh. Good old Rafco's. I have not looked at the menu list to see which menu or yeah, which menus contain what. Should technically be 12 meals in here. As you can see though, right off the bat, you can see the different tents. Different tent in the plastic color. And I'm seeing something a little bit interesting right here. See like this. what that is like a corner thing it's not in any of the other corners huh we'll find out what that is as we go through this interesting b temple b temple sent money as well as a name i don't recognize is it a mistake no miss renee it's it's not going to be a mistake um I've gotten donations for you as well. So I know that this is probably not what you wanted me to do uh, or that you'd ever want me to do this, but this is what's happening. There's a link to Mr. Renee's PayPal in my... It, 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 it's not a clickable link because I guess you can't link PayPal. I don't know. I don't know why not, but it's uh, it's right there in the description. Uh, as a matter of fact, you'll just have to retype it in yours. I'll go to the live chat right now, and I can put it in there again. It just will not be clickable for some for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, this kitten is is driving me a little batty. But uh, I need to thank B Temple. Like, huge thanks to B-Temple. Oh. All right, look, you've got to, you've got to quit. you got to quit, little one. I can't keep doing this with you, and I can't hold you, honey. I can't hold you. Not right now. She just wants me to love her all the time. Ooh. Okay, so there's a little spider nest in there. I don't see any holes, which is a good thing. Um, I, the smell, classic, aged MRE plastic. I've never smelled that smell exactly like this anywhere else outside of smelling this old vintage plastic. And they feel, they feel good actually just from touching that one. Like the, the plastic's still nice and flexible. Look at that. I've had these to where if I did that, it, it, would shatter like uh, like almost like it's frozen stop you gotta stop here get in this box and play here you can have this too there you go <laughs> all right what menu did i pull out of here menu number one beef patty dehydrated which is freeze-dried i do believe that it's freeze-dried not dehydrated so they're a little dirty um, but they're not worse for wear. They are very, very shiny, and they look good. And they smell, they smell like that vintage MRE plastic. It's it's a very unique smell. If you've never smelled it, it kind of smells like, it's got a little bit of, like, new tire smell to it. And it has, like, rubber. There's a rubber, like, there has to be rubber involved in this plastic. Um... I didn't even think to ask or check what uh, what B Temple sent along in um Tadaro T wait Tadaro Tadaro is also someone that I need to thank for Miss Renee. Tadaro. I don't recognize that name, but thank you so much for helping out and being so kind. And everybody who sent in Super Chats tonight, I'll convert that over and I'll send that to her tonight. I think I should have 
Should have enough in my account right now to cover that. What is today's date? The 20th? I don't know how that'll work in the long run. Anyway, I wonder if this goes menu two right here. Nope. Let's go right here. Nope. <laughs> I was hoping that menu two would be right here, but it's not. This is menu number nine, chicken a la king. Let's see. Uh, oh. Okay. So this is a little weird, but the case is stapled together right there, and that piece of cardboard is to protect the MREs from the staples, which makes sense. Nice. Very nice. So instead of... I'm going to try to put these back as I go. Give it a good look. It's got a little bit of a... Cobwebs. Dust. Kind of. That side looks amazing. I think it was in there. Was it in there like this? can't remember how it was in there maybe like this yeah that that looks more like it and then let me put this one back where it was at if i can fat side over here and it was probably like this see this if i don't do this i'm never going to get them back in here okay so that's close enough let's go to this one that was menu that was chicken a la king right this was the, the the infamous menu number nine chicken a la king uh, that gun dog is not a fan of has had some experiences with this is menu number 10 meatballs with barbecue sauce with accessory packet a i didn't check the accessory packets on the others let's do that real quick this one has Accessory packet D. Chicken Isle King has D. Does that mean T is T and D? Uh, ketchup's in one of them. And this has accessory packet D as well. Huh. So we got a D, D, A accessory packet. And this one was what menu was this? Oh, yeah, meatballs with barbecue sauce. So we got to pick one of these menus out of here tonight to test out the quality of these. This is turkey diced with gravy, menu number seven with accessory packet A. Uh, this is a thick one. This one is beef stew. A really good looking bag on that one. It kind of smells a little bit like... Uh, like a swimming pool, like a public swimming pool, like the chemical um, mixture that you smell in a, in a public pool. This is a really thin one here. Beef slices with barbecue sauce, accessory packet C. I have not had good luck with that menu. Every time I've ever had it, the beef slices have been like dried out and like really, really hard and made my mouth numb. I've never had good luck with that, that menu. Also with the... Uh, Meatballs and barbecue sauce. I've not had good luck with that one either. Was that this one? Nope. This is ham and chicken loaf with accessory packet A with the with the cobweb on it. Not looking too awful bad though. I mean that would clean right off of there. It's not something. I don't think there's anything living in that. I don't think I have anything to wipe it off with right at the moment either. I don't. Okay, I think we're here. This is menu number six, Frankfurters, with the bean component. Accessory packet E. Maybe that's the ketchup one? Can't remember. There's a freeze-dried ketchup that they've done in this. The, the first generation MREs is the only ones that have it, 81 to 85. And I have only seen a couple people end up getting a usable freeze-dried ketchup before. Hmm. 
Next up is uh, this is menu number 12 beef ground with spice sauce with accessory packet C. Right away Food Corporation, McAllen, Texas. Yep, nothing else on there. That's looking pretty good. Not bad. Wait, it goes like like this doesn't it what's this one uh, oh wait beef patty I thought we already did a beef patty menu number three beef patty wait a second with bean component uh accessory packet b okay what was this was this pork patty oh it was Menu number one, pork patty. Freeze-dried pork patty and freeze-dried beef patty. Pretty rare menus to find because those ones always get eaten first. Uh, beef ground with spice sauce, already did that one. All right, this is menu, the 11th one. This is menu number 11, ham slice with accessory packet A. It's a thicker one. This one's dirty. It's gotten a lot of uh, dust in it over there. Where the... I don't know why it would have got dust in it over there, actually. Huh. And uh, the last one is menu number eight. Beef diced with gravy. I thought we already had a beef diced with gravy. Didn't we already have a beast? I don't know if it was menu eight, but I thought we already had one of these. Could I be mistaken? This says bean component, not for pre-flight use. They don't all say that. I've noticed that. Uh, because some of them with the bean component, they don't have that not for pre-flight use. But this one does. And it's right away foods. Where was that beef diced with gravy? I'm almost positive. Beef stew. What, what is that? Right there. Oh, no, that's turkey diced with gravy. Maybe that's what I was thinking of. Meatballs. Beef slices and barbecue sauce. A lot of these menus, I mean, they're very similar, a lot of them. There's a the ham and chicken loaf. Beef ground with spice sauce. Again, very similar. Beef patty. Uh, not for pre-flight use on that one. And this one is the ham slice. Okay. Meatballs. And chicken a la king. All right. You guys saw the menus. If you want, pull it up on mreinfo.com. You can see 1983, what menus uh, have what in them, and what would be a good gauge. Now, doing one of the freeze-dried mains is not going to be a, a, the best way to go about this to see what kind of condition we have. If these things are in good condition, like maybe I could, uh, maybe one of these or some of these or whatever will end up in the, uh, in the, the little fundraiser thing i'm going to do auction for miss renee but like i said this is going to be like over a two-week period I, I would i'm probably oh that's another thing next friday is probably when i'm going to be doing uh my live stream for this coming week i'm probably gonna to have to move it to friday because saturday i've got some uh commitments that i've already got going on so that's probably the day that i'll be doing the auction but I will lead up to that with posts and try to gather things so you know what's going to be there, what's going to be a part of it. If I can come up with a uh, maybe even a rash in cold weather or something like that, I'm going to try to come up with that. History Savior just said he was going to donate some things to come in for that. So I might even bid against you guys on the helmet. I don't have one of those, and I think that's cool. But no, yeah, no, that, that wouldn't make sense. Frankfurters, not really. I don't think that's a great gauge. 
Uh, beef ground with spice sauce. I've not had good luck with that. Or this one over here, which that's ham and chicken loaf. I only got one loaf in here, I think. Uh, beef sliced with barbecue sauce. That's that one and uh, beef brown in spice sauce. This one right here. Right? No, that's Frankfurter's. Yeah, beef ground with spice sauce. Neither one of those have I had very much luck with in the past. That's not to say this one won't be good. And there's the barbecue. So I happen to like Chicken a la King when it's good. When Chicken a la King is, is edible, it is, I don't know, it, it's, I like it. It's like a, it's like a chicken pot pie filling, basically, is kind of what it's like without the noodle. Not, well, not for a chicken pot pie. So, it's kind of like a mix between chicken noodles and chicken pot pie filling. You know, the flavor-wise, because you get the vegetables, you get that, like, really nice, thick chicken gravy. Then I've also seen chicken a la king that was really runny like a soup. Uh, I've seen it everywhere in between, thick and very thin. Okay, not that one. Ham slice, most likely. I mean, out of all these, if one's going to be good, it's probably going to be ham slice. And the two freeze-dried mains right there, those will probably be the most edible out of these out of here. Uh, what was this one? This is a thick one back here. Ugh. Or what it was beef diced with gravy but also don't really want to go with the one that was on the outside of the case because it, it was exposed to the most fluctuation in heat and cool heat and hot and cold chicken all king you know what Let's do chicken a la king. Let's, I mean, let's let's just go for like the one that everybody thinks is awful. That I happen to actually like. I forgot to go to live chat. And live chat. Let me go back and see if... Did I miss a super chat up here? It's, it's kind of looking like I might have. Um, and I can't check my text to, to see if Miss Renee said that she got anybody because I assume she'd probably text me whenever something like that started happening and then she figured out this is where it was coming from alright let me sleeve this bad boy up back up real quick can't remember which way the sleeve went on it I think it went I think it went like this I think Well, maybe not. Maybe it went like this. That, that feels like it. I opened a case of 71 MCIs last week and a case of 83 MREs this week. It's been a, it's been a good week. Past seven, eight days, whatever. All right, what did I do with the straps? Or, <clears throat> oh boy, that's tight. I think what I want to go back on there. Dag going. trying to smother that wart off my finger now for about whew, I don't know four months I had it froze off and it did not it, it didn't work and I've been putting the uh, putting band-aids over it with neosporin hoping to smother it and it's not been working get on there bet that sounds real good doesn't it grunting and groaning off camera. All right. Let's get into this bad boy. <coughs> Excuse me. Chicken a la king. Fancy. 
schmancy chicken a la can. That sounds like a fancy French, <laughs> uh, French name for a main dish uh, that's military. I mean, really, though, that like I said, these bags are in really good shape. Even being in a case like that, if these things seen a lot of hot and dry temperatures, if they were stored in a really dry, like overly dry area, which can be bad, actually, because that'll cause these bags to dry out and crack. Cat! Seriously! You can't do that, honey. Are your eyes still blue? What is that? What color are your eyes? Come here. No, I'm, I'm holding you. I'm not letting you down. Look up. Oh, they're green. Your eyes are green. Say hello. Hi, everybody. I'm not tiny anymore. <laughs> a couple weeks ago, I thought she, I was going to lose her. I thought she was going to die on me. She was she was very close to death. She, was, she had lost about 60% of her body weight, maybe even more, maybe 65% of her body weight. And she was just barely hanging on to life i was having to force feed her and here she is she recovered after about four days of that and uh and antibiotics i was giving her antibiotics and she's got the softest prettiest coat and she's got uh she's got kind of these puffy eyes that just i'm i don't know she, she does have like a little bit of respiratory issues i think because every once in a while she'll kind of cough just a little bit or i can hear it in like her purr sometimes not all the time what do you think about that what do you think about this what do you think about that don't poke holes in it thank you thank you for keeping your claws in i appreciate that not that i'm going to do anything with this bag i'm sure i saved a bunch of these for a long time I, every like old mre that up or cool international ration i saved all that i've got a i've got this thing called a ration tree which is like a it was a little debbie display where they'd hang like i guess like bags of donuts or something on it. i'm not really sure what hung on there maybe like it was a chip thing but it's got about a hundred spots on it or more to hang look with the little clips like you clip the chips in and i have uh ration bags hanging on every single one of those hooks So, here's the knife. No, you. What are you doing? She wanted to cut her paws off, I guess. Uh. Bourbon Street Joe sent this knife along though, and I switched over from the one that uh, Blindside sent me. Gave me a. The tip broke off on it, and I've been using this since Blind or uh, since Bourbon Street Joe sent it. And I have uh, I've been switching back and forth sometimes, though. I'm still using the other one that Blindside sent. So let's cut this open. I'm trying just to cut the back open. The only thing about a Tanto is I have trouble sharpening that part of the blade, the tip part. Not that I can't do it. I just have, I mean, I, I don't get it done as well as the rest of the knife, the rest of the blade. All right. So the first time this stuff has seen daylight since 1983, let me stick my nose in it. Actually, it smells perfect. It smells like all brand new packaging that's what that smells like i don't smell the old bag or nothing it's a perfect smell that's what you want to smell when you open one of these is you know just the packaging nothing overly offensive or like too strong smelling this is a good sign this is a good sign so far all right let's pull all this out of here Inside the bag. I must have touched the camera. Take a look inside.
inside the bag. Looking good. Cat in the bag. She might get in there. I don't think she'll fit. Look in there, honey. Look. Look here. Here, spoon. Get the spoon. In there. Yep, there you go. You can get in there. What do we got? Accessory packet D, which is... Oh, look at that. Accessory packet D's got the ketchup. I'll be daggone why with Chicken a King. Does that make sense? Is that what this is supposed to have? It is. Huh. Well, coffee, cream substitute, sugar, ketchup, salt, chewing gum, matches, and your United States issued booty ration. Right away Food Corporation, McAllen, Texas. It's got a little three printed on it. Good looking accessory packet. And we have cheese spread. Fortified. No delamination whatsoever. And what it was like a 2005 I opened up last week that had a cheese spread in it that was delaminated in dark, dark brown. If this... I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to jinx it. Knock on wood. I'll tell you what, though. This cheese spread feels good, y'all. It wasn't hard. As far as I'm concerned, the way it feels, it feels perfect. There's nothing even, like, in the corners. When I, when I press out the cheese of the corners, it's perfect. So this was made by Real Fresh Incorporated, Vasilla, California. Need package before opening? To open, tear off one corner of the bag. You need instructions on how to open this. You just tear off one corner of the bag. It'll tell you right there on the package. <laughs> Ingredients. Cheddar cheese. First ingredient is cheddar cheese. Butter fat. Ooh. Water. Disodium phosphate. Salt. Locust bean gum. Locust bean gum. Yum. Uh, Monoglyceride. Phosphoric acid, artificial coloring, vitamins A, B1, B6, and C. There's your fortification. A, B1, B6, and C. Is that a 1 or like an I? What is that? Huh. There you go. That sounds good. And it's 1.5 ounces. 1.5 I guess that's averaged ounces. Net weight, one point one and one half averaged ounces. I don't know. Look at this. Fruit cake. What an awesome thing to find. I wonder if there's any more of these in that case. That's so cool. Net weight, 3.2 ounces. Very small. Came from Sterling Bakery, though. We know that's a, a bakery that hung around for a long time. Kind of some weird printing on there, I guess. Maybe like overprinted on that. But 189th day. So right around that July time. Is that what the... What was it? I think it was a 183 on the box, wasn't it? Hang on a second. Was it 183? 184. 184th day on the box. How is that possible? How is that because the box has 184 on it. And this has 189 on it. It's weird that that's printed on there like that anyway. Usually you don't see a date printed like that on an 83. You're lucky if you get one on the end of a box like this right here. That says... 3173 on there. Can you guys see it? 3... And barely see the one, and then seven three, and then there's a four five after that for whatever reason. There's our chicken a la king, which is only five ounces, very small main. We have us a beautiful cocoa beverage powder. Look at that, looking good. Uh, who made this? Packed by uh, Hormel. Cool. That's great. G-O-A Hormel and Company. Corporate offices, Austin, Minnesota. 55912. There's your inspection stamp as well. USDA inspected. 
This is uh, looking good. Who made this? Santa Incorporated. Santa? 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 Incorporated P.O. Box 8046. And we have a pack of crackers. And they are, check this out, absolutely salted. Look at the salt you can see through the stinking package. That is awesome. Let me unfold this tremendous amount of extra packaging on there. <laughs> Why they done that, I don't know. A lot of these early ones had that like that. And then there we have the crackers printed on there, which you couldn't see because that was folded over on it. Looking good. All that salt. Look at all that salt. <laughs> all right. Going to I'm going to go heat this up. Let me get it opened up. Man, I have high hopes, guys. Three minutes is all I'm going to leave this in there for. Boiling water. Three minutes. Well, that's looking good as well. There you go. Chicken a la king. 3173-45, same as the box. Looking, it's really light, though. That's a normal-looking retort pouch. 1983, normal-looking retort pouch. Usually, they look kind of weird back then. I've had a bunch of them that just were weird-looking. Oh, you're going to chew holes in that for me? I prefer you didn't. Please don't chew a hole in that. Please don't chew a hole in that. Oh, you've already you've already destroyed it. Okay, well, that's... Here, you guys watch her while I go through this in the water. Be right back. Do not want to leave that in there too long. Not even remotely too long. It has to come out at... I need to leave here before the clock on here. On my clock says 70, so three minutes. Less than three minutes. Well, that's a little over, but I'm going to leave before that. So, Okay, we still got an accessory packet to open up. All right, little one. Yeah, give me my spoon. <laughs> now you want to play with it. Here, take this bag. You've already tore up. Here, play the bag. All right. Not much to these early MREs. Pack of crackers, cocoa beverage powder. It's pretty simple but effective, right? It serves its purpose and hopefully would fill a guy up. Crackers, cheese bread, nice little dessert with fruit cake, spoon. I still don't understand the ketchup. Why ketchup with chicken a la king? I don't get it. Who who would ever want ketchup with chicken a la king? Um, it would be awesome if this chick or this ketchup is not <clears throat> solid as a rock, but chances of that are pretty slim and then you got uh you're gonna have coffee <clears throat> as well cheese bread fruit cake all right all right i'm going to get the chicken a la king be right back As far as what I'm doing tonight uh, for Miss Renee, I, you know, guys, bear with me. I've never done anything like this before. Um, 
it's not it's not something that you would typically see me do um i i felt highly compelled to do this though so that's where i'm at with that and um right in the top of the description you click in there it's the uh that's miss renee's paypal if you want to send something over there and uh, hopefully i can recognize it here in the comments if not it will definitely get recognized friday when i do the uh when i most likely do the auction if i don't do that friday then it'll be uh it'll be very shortly after that it'll be during the week sometimes i don't know what it, i'm going to discuss this with a lot of people and find out what the best way to do this is because honestly i don't really know i'm just kind of kind of winging it to be honest But Miss Renee, she deserves our help. So I think we're all glad to do it. And uh, I'll send a donation in on this one, and then we're gonna, I'm going to figure out how to make it a big one. All right. Oh, I need to open this up. Let's take a look at the infamous accessory packet D. I say infamous because... The ketchup's usually bad, so it's, you know, it's not exactly a good famous. 1983 accessory packet. Sticking my nose in there. Uh, doesn't smell as good as the one with the cigarettes, that's for sure. Not even, uh... Oh, I'm, yeah, I, no, I, yeah, it's kind of like... Not really... I don't know how to describe it. I can't say not close because there's a, a high similarity there, but the tobacco really changes things. Really changes the smell. Just makes it, uh, gives it that sweet tobacco smell. There we go. There's our accessory packet D. Now this is, this predates Tabasco. Tabasco was not in in 1983. And you've got to be kidding me. Listen. That is awesome. No way. I got a good ketchup. I, I'm not going to use it on this, though. I'm not going to waste it. This has got to go with, like, the pork patty or the beef patty or the frankfurters. The frankfurters. This has got to go with something like that. Man, if this is edible, I don't know. We'll find out. The creamer feels perfect. Look at that coffee instant type 1, 2.2 grams with ascorbic acid. Good coffee. We got the blue printed iodized salt right here. Made by the Stickney and Poor. Clemsfield, Massachusetts. Nope, Clemsford. 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 <laughs> we got the the blue butt ration so that way when you're using a poor john you don't see the toilet paper i don't know <laughs> no it's just, i don't know why they made it blue it makes no sense to me why they would make it blue uh, not a whole lot of it there this is a pretty small thing of of butt ration to be honest like it's really even folded in half like that it's just not not as thick and feeling as is that this just feels like more about the same weight though I would say we got some Amstar sugar Amstar Corporation out of New York six grams of that good stuff and here are our matches which are going to be D.D. Bean and Sons, of course. Just says North Carolina on these ones. Just North Carolina. And these are white tip black matches. They smell like matches. Strike on back. All right, and there's our gum. Look how perfect that looks. Perfect green 
chiclet style gum. I mean, it's there's no fading, no nothing. Looking really good, guys. Really good. And this is some of the best coffee that you can get your hands on. I'm telling you. I've seriously been thinking, like, trying to get with a coffee company like Black Rifle or something and trying to remake this coffee. Exactly this, this formula with, well, similar, maybe with a slight tweak so there's no... Well, the patent had run out on this by now, 25 years. I think it's typically what it is, or 20 years. Should be able to should be able to copy it, sell it as vintage style military coffee. I, I don't know. I just like the packaging and everything. Made by General Foods Corporation. Food Service Products Division, White Plains, New York. A lot of stuff made in New York. A lot of stuff made in New York. But this uh, this type one right here, I don't know what it is about it. It's, look at that. That is perfection. Let's uh, let's put the coffee in this white cup so we can see it a little better. I mean, that packaging is like, it just came off the assembly line. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, we know we're putting the sugar in. I got I to gotta check on the, uh, I got to check on the creamer. Sugar looks perfect to me. It ain't every day that you, you get to sample any food like this from 1983. And, uh, you know, I know for a fact that I'm going to get to, to eat some of this just from the looks of it. I don't know if it's all going to be edible, but some of it should be. The crackers definitely will be because they're still sealed nicely. So I'll at least get some crackers out of this deal. Nothing else. that far enough down oh wow well it's got a little bit of a yellow tint to it let's see if that clumping breaks up mm. I'm going to try that Well, it breaks up easy. I'm going for it. Tastes a little bit, little bit funny, but nothing. Yeah, that that should be fine. See, it's got quite a yellow tint to it. But as far as how it tastes, it tastes pretty creamy to me. It just tastes like uh. Like dry creamer, really. I mean, right, here we go. I knew that creamer was going to do that, but it's okay. All right, now let's get this, uh, this brown cocoa beverage powder going. Seth just sent you a hundred bucks. Holy cow, dude. Wow. Uh, all right, Eeyore. Thank you so much, my dude, for sending Miss Renee a hundred bucks. Holy cow. You're too kind, my friend. Seth's got some videos over there on his YouTube channel. I, I, I'm pretty sure I've watched him ride his bike. I think that was on his YouTube channel. I, don't, I can't remember where that link was he sent me. But he's also made ration videos. I remember watching him eat him in his truck. So, 
I'm sure there's a link in my description. If not, type in Alright Eeyore and you'll find his channel, I'm sure. Seth is a good guy. Not just because of that, because he's been around for a long time and I like the guy. Right, let's give this a try. Hey, Robin, thank you so much for the uh, kitty? Fox? Fox? Mmm. Oh, yum. That tastes... That tastes really good. Yeah, that... This is... Mmm. Yeah. That's wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. But, Robin, thank you so much for the uh, sticker thingy. Of the... I think that's a fox laughing. Like a sly fox. All right. Can't believe that ketchup is perfect, man. Like that is so rare. So rare to find. Wow, I got... <laughs> Cocoa beverage powder all, all over the place. Didn't didn't help. Alright. There we go. And do I have one of these spoons open? Well, I'm just going to open this one. Yeah, if you don't stir up these big old mounds of, see, look at that, of the cocoa beverage powder, they don't, they won't dissolve just sitting, which sucks. I don't even know if the coffee's going to because of that creamer. There we go. I think that's getting it. My water is as hot as it could possibly be. I put it in that thermos. I preheat the thermos by filling it up with hot water so it's not cold when I put my water in. And then I boil my water. I dump the hot water out, put a funnel in it, and then fill it up with boiling hot water straight out of the pot. So I have the hottest water possible. Well, I guess outside of going and getting it directly off the stove, I guess I could do that. And have a little bit hotter water. That's going to bother me. Get rid of those little chunks. Kitty, honey. There's not enough room for you to walk down through there. Come here. Are you done? Are you done? Are you done? She likes it whenever I... Oh, nope. Look, I'm just going to hold you. Just going to hold you. And I'll hold her back and do this. This is like her... I did this when she was a little baby. So now it's like one of her favorite things. Because as you can see, she's like going to sleep almost immediately. Because you're a silly girl, aren't you? Here, play in the box with that bag. Here, look. Play with this stuff. Look. No, you don't be afraid. It's okay. It's just paper. It's just paper. Okay. Next. What am I... At? Okay. Let's do the crackers. Next. These are very salted crackers. I did not hear... Man, I didn't hear no air. These crackers aren't aren't good. You gotta be kidding me. Well, they look okay, and they smell. They they smell. <laughs> they smell like um. 
Well, like rancid crackers, pretty much. There's a bleachy smell coming off of them. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. They, they, they don't smell right, though. I'm going to try it. They're, they're fine, I think. A little bit weird, just a little bit. Like, they weren't vacuum-packed, really. Like, vacuum-sealed very well. I thought they were, but I guess they weren't. They taste okay, though. Very salty. Very flowery. No salt, no uh, malted barley in these. If it's in there, it's very little. I don't taste it. It's those later ones. Not much later than these, but, you know, next generation, maybe your generation after, that the, the heavy malted barley flavor comes in. Okay, this is literally glued on both sides. I don't understand that. Hundred and eighty ninth day. Doesn't that put this being packed after the case was? One eighty four on the case. That's weird, man. The case has one hundred eighty four on it. One hundred eighty fourth day of eighty three. This has one hundred eighty nine on it. Very strange. Very strange. Like they went back and put this in after or something. I don't know. Lots of glue. Moment of truth. Not bad. Let's smell it. Oh, it smells it smells like it's supposed to. Kind of shelf stable fruitcake smell. Does not look bad. Does not smell bad. We will see. We will see. Next is Chicken Alla King. What do I do with it? Oh, there it is. Get the bowl out here. All right, time for some do or die. Some really pink looking chicken. Oh, it smells awesome. It smells absolutely awesome. Smells like chicken broth. A little, it's kind of creamy smelling. Smell a little bit of the vegetables. A little bit of the greens. Not a very large dish. It should have potatoes in it, right? All right. Where are you at, kitten? All right, the only thing left to open up is the cheese bread. Let's open it up and we'll get a We'll get a color grade on it. Did I see that someone else sent... Did CT also send uh, Miss Renee money as well? I think CT did. Thank you so much, CT. Appreciate you, my dude. Uh, really, thank you guys so much for uh, being kind enough to do that. Send those things over Miss Renee's way. I know she needs the, the, the help we can give her right now until I can really, really do something bigger because she needs... She, she needs... A lot of help. A lot of help. And I hope I can make that happen. You know what? That does not look bad. It's a little, like, flesh colory, but that's how it's supposed to be. And it doesn't look, like, overly dry or anything. I'm just going to scrape that off of there. All right, we'll check that out in a second. Going after the chicken ala king first, obviously. Because I always go for the main first. Now, it's not the most appetizing looking thing in the world. I will say that. Uh, it's got nice chunks of chicken in it that have uh, 
gotten soft over the years. And as you can see, shreds the way it's supposed to. I'm going to start with that right there. It's probably a little too much to start with, but I don't care. Down the hatch. Huh. Okay, well, that's to be expected. It tastes a little bit like the packaging. No, it tastes a lot like the packaging. It's very metallic, which I kind of knew that was going to happen. Um, the chicken itself, though, nice chew to it. No weird side effects, no after effects, no anything like that. This has definitely turned... It, it, age has turned this into somewhat of a soup... Also, I've noticed that every individual batch that I've ever seen, uh, every single one of these looks different. It looks like the, every batch was slightly different. Uh, I know manufacturers going to have something to do with that and, and how they've aged over time. And this one in particular looks like it has kind of broken down. But uh, I, I assume that's either celery or a pea in there. we got some of that broth in there. And some chicken. Let's see what the whole the whole thing tastes like. What is that? Carrot. I mean, honestly, it just tastes like chicken pot pie filling. It tastes exactly like it's supposed to. Outside of the little bit of a, well, considerable amount of metallic flavor that comes along with it. Now, I will say this. I don't like this mushiness. But I would say it's probably been this way for most of its life. Uh, I don't think this is something that necessarily is, is completely to blame on time. All right, you have to stop. 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 I don't even know where this thing was. Get rid of it. Are you done? Are you done? Huh? Purring up a storm. Here. At least lay down here and so people can see what I'm doing. I'm not trying to waste their time. You're wasting their time. <laughs> Stop it. Okay. I'm going to take another bite of this, and then I'm probably going to eat some with the cracker a little bit. Um, but as far as it being edible, I think this is perfectly edible. I don't like it the texture of it. You guys know I'm a texture eater. That's my, like, that's my one vice. Well, that's one of my vices when it comes to food. But flavor? I mean, for it being almost 40 years old... Is pretty much perfect. Here, I know you want to lick that. Go ahead. I think you'll be fine. Let's, uh... <sighs> you gotta stop. Here, get down there and play with it. Let's use it as a cracker dip here. Ooh, what is that? What is that? Oh, it's a mushroom. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I was like, what the heck is that? Like, almost black thing. And that, I'm not a big fan of that chicken being so daggone pink either. But that's what happens when you have, like, a canned chicken. It just That's what it looks like. All right, here we go. You know, the cracker really helps it out. Not only because of the texture, but the flavors, the salt, really enhances the flavor here. It's really not bad. Not bad at all. Cheese spread time.
Let's see. Now, I've talked to a lot of guys that ate this stuff back in the day. And they've told me, this is what it's supposed to look like. That fleshy, like, brownish tan color. This is what it looked like when it was new. So I'm told. I can't verify that other than what, what men that ate this fresh have told me. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to believe them and say that this is what it's supposed to look like. And, well, ooh, well, it's got a little bit of a, it's got a little bit of a ripe smell to it, I would say. And that side over there has got a dark spot to it. I'm going to get rid of that and try it. Instead of eating the head off of it, let me get rid of this chunk and let's get a fresher chunk. Yeah, let's let's go with that. Still got that little bit of a brown streak to it. I don't know what's going on with that. Because <laughs> I needed it up good. All right, here we go. You know what? I would say that's actually about as fresh as it could be. Outside of it being frozen, maybe. I mean, that cheese spread does not taste bad at all. A little bit strong. But I think that's to be expected. Yeah. No, no weird side effects, though. I have had cheese make my tongue numb numerous times now. Especially old cheese like this. Wait a second. I might have spoke too soon. Okay. I am getting the slightest amount of... Like a, a, a little bit of an effect on my tongue right now. Nothing major, though. I, I'm not even sure. That might just be like a fat coating. Because that's really kind of what it seems like. It doesn't seem like it's um, like a stinging or a numbing or anything. It just kind of... It's like a coating. I'm going to call the cheese edible. I'm going to call this fully edible. I think I could probably eat that whole thing without any weird side effects other than it being gelatinous and me really not liking to eat something like that. But well, I'm not going to dig into this yet. Let's, uh, let's try out the coffee first. Type 1. Down the hatch. Oh, that's hot. Oh, that's so good, though. Creamer's not bad. That coffee is perfect. The perfect amount of sugar and cream. The perfect amount of acidity. It's got a very unique flavor. Those tannins have just this little bit of a, a mouthfeel to them, this little bit of dryness to it that really sets the coffee off and makes it unique. To anything else I've ever had. That is, oh gosh, that is like one of the best cups of coffee I've had in a long time, first of all. But that's like the perfect cup of coffee. To me. Might not be to you, but this is a, I don't know who would say this isn't a good cup of coffee. Now, I don't think the coffee was all that popular with the guys back then. It, maybe it was. I don't think so, though. All right. There is, uh, I'm going to wait on that. Let's, let's see what this looks like on the inside. Get a cross section here. Well, it's dark, as to be expected. And it smells, you know, it smells kind of fruity, but it should. Let's give it a try. Mmm, chewy. <laughs> There's a nut in there. A cherry. It's definitely a cherry that I got a hold of. The, the cake has a really nice 
kind of hardiness to it, the cake itself. The fruit, I love the texture of whatever I just got. I'm pretty sure it was a cherry. It tastes like a cherry. And the nut, you know, added a little bit of that crunch to it. Nothing, there's nothing off about this at all. Mm. This is probably one of the best that I've ever had as far as an MRE nut, uh, fruitcake goes. Mm -hmm. Thirty nine year old fruit cake. Mm. I don't know what that was. I don't know if that was like a walnut or what. Really weird texture. But the flavor of this, oh my goodness. Up to 61980 already, Miss Renee just said. Wow, thank you guys so much. Holy cow. I had no idea. I knew that two $100 donations, or $101 from CT and $100 from Seth, um, which is all right, Eeyore, had came in. Thank you guys so much. Holy cow. You guys, I, like I said, I know Miss Renee is it. She needs this, so you you guys don't even know. Mm. So one of these. MREs has got to go in the auction. Um, outside of the cheese spread being, I mean, I wouldn't even call it really questionable. I'd call it fully edible. It's just a little strong. Um, I think this entire meal is edible. Everything. Literally everything. Even the ketchup. The ketchup was even perfect. So, and I'm going to eat this entire thing. There's no doubt about that. I love the cherries in it. Cherries is the best part. Kitty, stop. Stop, stop, stop. I know, I'm so happy that this has ended up to be edible. Because if not, I'd have been stuck with 11 more inedible. I mean, I, you can pick parts out of it, like maybe the drink mixes and the accessory packets. And, and if you're lucky, the coffee will be good. And if, You know, sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. Um, Miss Renee, B Temple, CT, Fernbark, Dharma, Mike, Kreischer, and Seth have all donated. Thank you guys so much. Every single one of you guys. Thank you guys so much. Yes. Yes. I'm going to auction you off. How's that? Who wants to buy her? She's cheap. Real cheap. <laughs> Not going to happen. <laughs> I think that's a cherry. Right here. Big old cherry, actually. See it? No. I don't know what that was. It wasn't a raisin. It's got like a, what is that? 
What's in this thing? Hang on a second. There's no ingredients list on this, I'll bet. Wait, maybe there is. Let go of me. Let's see here. Ingredients, sugar, raisins, flour, nuts, pineapple, shortening, cherries, whole eggs, water, salt, baking powder, cinnamon, clove powder, and nutmeg. So it has to either be a raisin, I don't think it was pineapple, or a cherry. It has to either be a raisin or a cherry. Huh. The last time I tried to eat one of these, my throat went numb. I mean, it just made my mouth go numb, and then my throat went numb. I took one bite off of it, and that was it, because it was just inedible. Now, the inside looks dark, but that's just from this dark cake and it absorbent. I have seen these cakes that were lighter. Cakes were stored, well, the whole MRE was stored better than this, maybe. But, I mean, this tastes, it tastes perfect. I, I don't taste anything off at all. Like, if it was off, you wouldn't see me do that. You just wouldn't. I wouldn't eat it. It must be pineapple. It's like hard. Because it's only got peanuts in it, right? It says nuts. That's got to be a walnut. Came out of this like section right here that's like, it's like a big piece. Yeah, it just says nuts in general. But I don't see anything that looks like a walnut. Not right off the top. You know, right here on this top. So there's a big old chunk right there. Uh, that's, that's what... It's a cherry. I don't know if you can see it's red on the inside. Huh. That's a weird texture, man. For a cherry. It's like, um, I mean, it's almost got like a, like a raw nut, like texture. It's real hard, and it's got a real fibrous chew to it. I wish I could uh, share a bite of this with everybody. This is an experience you don't get very often. To be able to eat a cake that's 40 years old like this and eat the whole thing. This is what makes all this worth it too. Like the when you're opening old rations like this, you find an old dessert like this that's still good. And you can't buy anything that tastes even remotely like this. Not even I can't think of anything that come even close. And it's actually good. Like it's really good. No. You don't need a bear. Like hitting the jackpot. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Very rare to find something like this and it be fully edible like this. Maple nut cakes are pretty good. I would argue that the fruit cake is better, though. So she's up there eating the chicken a la king now. I'm going to let her. I'm not going to let her eat a lot of it, but a little bit. But that should tell you that it's it's good, right? Here, let's uh, let's show you what I'm talking about here. Oh, you want to see the ketchup? This is like a prize. <laughs> this is like like when they used to still have the good prizes in Cracker Jack, finding like a like a really good one. Listen to it. Now, I have to be very careful with it. Because if I was to puncture the outside of this at all, 
I mean, even a teeniest, tiniest pinhole or, like, crack the, the corner right there from flexing it. You know, like, folding it back and forth or one time. If this was to get any air in it at all, it would go bad within, well, I know for a fact within a week. Because Steve sent me one one time. And he said it was good when he sent it. And by the time I got to it and opened it up, it had turned to a solid mass. Yeah, I'm not going to let you eat much more of that, kitty. Even though I know it's good, it'll still make you sick. I'm sure. With all that salt and everything else is in there, I'm sure. Did you like that? Did you like that? Uh-huh. Some chicken a la king that's 40 years old. You're like four months old. <laughs> Eating 40-year-old food. Now that's an MRE kitty. I'm I'm not going to stop talking about it. I'm dumbfounded that this fruitcake is so good. I do wish I could share this experience with you guys, though, outside of just talking about it. Vintage food party. <laughs> yeah. It, this, is not, this is not a common experience to open up a 1983 MRE and it be edible like this. And one thing I will say, the case staying sealed over its entire life absolutely helps it extend its, its, its edibility, its shelf life. You don't need any more of that. She ain't going to leave that chicken out king alone now until I put it up. That is for sure. Hey, Juice Schultz, man, I hope you get the feeling better. I hope you don't have the, uh, you know, the stuff. The convict. Oh, that's the first sip of that I took. It's so good. Smooth, creamy, chocolatey. This is like, I don't even know. It's like I'm getting to take a, uh, like a food break or a food adventure. That was a big bite. Big cherry in there, too. Maybe you just got the flu or something, dude. And hey, my dad's in the hospital right now. He's got to have surgery Monday. Again. Yeah, no doubt. Definitely could be a, a lot of other stuff. Hopefully it ain't that other crap that's going around now, too. I heard swine flu was going around. They didn't even let pigs come to our fair because of it. He says, eat some of those finished candies. <clears throat> the licorice? <laughs> that burn it right out of you, I'll bet. Test positive on the cool test. <laughs> I always test negative on that test. <sighs> I always test rancid <laughs> on the, on whatever test I take. This comes back rancid. <laughs> botulism <laughs> don't touch it i 
I think it's funny. Not funny, but it's kind of funny. Kind of. When I say funny, I don't mean like ha ha funny. It's it's kind of funny. Like I don't know. You you'll get what I mean. They got so many of those tests now. They can't give them away. Like they literally can't give them away. I know they're still trying to sell them at like Walmart and stuff, but this doctor, my my new family doctor that I had to get, um, they set piles of boxes of them on the counter, and it just says take take whatever. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, you went to the fair last week? I did too. I went this week too. I went Monday to the the one across the river in Ohio, Meigs County, and watched the demolition derby they had over there. Because I went to the demolition derby at our fair, the Mason County Fair, the, the one that's like our fairgrounds is right down there where the Mothman crap is. Like it's literally right there. Um. Anyway. I went to watch the derby, and it was over in 40 minutes. It was over before I even got there, because I was like, eh, I'll get there, you know, half hour late or whatever. I, I, I didn't want to be there, and it'd be hot as crap. And I got there about the time the sun was going down, and, like, they was already done. 40 minutes in, they was already done. Like, they was done in about 30 minutes. Now, I think they only ran one one heat of the demolition derby, and then went to this one across the river, and they had, like, five heats, I think. Still, nothing like what it used to be. It used to be... The demolition derby would last from like seven o'clock to like eleven o'clock, like a four hour thing. And they would have a heat of cars. Uh, they'd have like two different two different heats of the same kind of cars, and then they would pair them down. Like whoever with the top five were that were still running, they'd stop. They'd take those five and the other five, and they'd put those ten together, and then the top three of that would would get money. You know, they they'd get paid out. So. I'm the only one in my house that would like fruitcake or I would offer for someone else to come in here and try it, but nobody else would even try this. Oh, the monkey pox. Don't even get me started on that. I don't know enough about it. I'm not going to... I know what I've heard, but I don't know anything that's real. Look, yeah, her stomach's literally full of chicken a la king now. Your belly's full, I can feel it. Are you done? You're going to be tired. She ate about, mm, about a quarter of it. She would have ate it all if I'd have let her. She'd walked out of there with her belly sloshing back and forth. A big gelatinous blob of chicken a la king in it. So that was the last bite of the, the fruitcake. All gone. Yeah, she's giving herself a bath now. Well, she's licking her lips, but that should be next. Maybe not. Yeah, because <laughs> it's because all the salt. Get an ice cream bucket of water out. Yeah, no doubt. She's got plenty of water in there to drink. We got one of those two-gallon feeders, water feeders, uh, for the dog. So she has access to that. And then I have a cat bowl of water that I keep full of bottled water. <laughs> they get bottled water. Which, our water here is no good anyway. Dig into the second vegetarian Norwegian ration that you have. Oh, I got some vegetarian stuff. Kaylin, I know it's hard for you to find stuff. So I'll save you, uh, I think I got two, I'll save you one of those vegetarians I got. Because, uh, I'm not, I'm not vegetarian. <laughs> this is awesome. So it, it's not overly rich, 
but it is rich, you know. But it's not so rich that you're like, oh, yeah, I can't take much of that. I hate to finish it. Like, I want to save a drink for later. I know that's stupid, but I'm going to. I'm going to do it anyway. And I'll have a have a drink for later. Yeah, it's time to, time to have a smoke. A well-deserved one this week. Um, because I just ate a 40-year-old fruitcake and 40-year-old chicken a la king, 40-year-old cheese spread, 40-year-old crackers, and it was all, like, I can't believe all of that was good. All of it's good. Every bit of it. Even the creamer and the coffee was good. These, I kind of figured if there was going to be a meal that I'd be able to tell if it was bad, it would be this one. And, you know, outside of the, the Chicken Alla King having a little bit of that metallic packaging flavor, which I think that's going to be pretty much inevitable with any of the MRE packaging that is 40 plus years old outside of some that have been stored. Like, there a few years ago, like four or five years ago, no, honey, you cannot eat. I'm not, I'm not going to let you eat any more of that, babe. You can't do it. Like four or five years ago, somebody, it was Drew, um, he had, uh, what, what was his little ration store thing? It's gone now, anyway. Anyways, he had this little ration thing. I, I had a sticker thing up there of him. Anyway, he came across these 1983s. I think they were 83s. And they were in, like, really, really good condition. I don't know if they, I didn't get one of them. But Steve did. Steve got a bunch of them. And a couple other people got some. And I remember seeing Steve open up a uh, a fruitcake and like had put pictures on MRE Info, and it I don't know if it was the because of the flash, but that fruitcake looked like it was really light in color, like it was, you know, my, whereas mine looked dark. His looked lighter in color, and I don't know if that like I said I don't know if that was because of the. Um, fact that it was actually lighter or because of the fact that uh it was a camera flash or you know different settings on the camera you can't eat any more of that i have to stop you i have to stop you you can't have that much salt it'll blow up your little heart yes no you need to go drink some water so you can pee out some of that salt now i need i'd like you know what? Uh, I don't know what to go for cigarette-wise here. I think I'm just going to start with one of Miss Marilyn's cigarettes. I, I've been trying to hold off on smoking these and save these because they're so good. The ones that she sent me. After I smoke this one, I'll be down to five and one, the lucky cigarette, which I, I'll leave in there. Just like I did with my can. Of, I'm pretty sure I left the, the lucky cigarette in my can. She's back up there again. Little one. Hey, little one. I've got to get her. These things have been getting better every time I smoked one for the past, what, year? <laughs> I've probably been smoking on these for a year. <sighs> You're literally going to make me hold you. Or you'll get into the Chicken Alla King. Or I'm going to have to do something with the Chicken Alla King. And tell everybody who helped Miss Renee out, thank you. Thank you from us. Sorry about the smoke. I just hit myself. Yeah, man, we, I really do seriously appreciate you guys. You have made Miss Renee be able to get by through this week until I can 
get a real something put together and and really try to make something happen for her this coming week and then see if we can't can't improve her life a little bit um i think we can do it i think we can do it you miss smoking some days but then i drive my new truck and i don't miss so much yeah yeah i don't smoke in my car um and i'm gonna quit smoking like that what what if i move into a different place like it there will be no smoking in the in the new place so if i happen to film live streams in there or whatever we'll have to i'll have to take the camera we'll have to go outside which i plan on setting up a studio this whole thing um has to happen sooner or later so Piece of that fruitcake stuck in my teeth. Piece of nut or something. There it came. It's a good mouthwash right there. In my mustache. Moustache. Blindside was telling me that the uh, Tennessee State Fair is next week, and uh, he went to the Ohio State Fair, which I forgot. I forgot about that. That was even a thing. And been, there's been so many years where I couldn't even really go to a uh, state fair or a fair in general. That's, I didn't go to my own county fair, which it sucks. Now it used to be Mason County Fair. You can look this up. It used to be the largest junior fair in the state of West Virginia. For many years it was. And then I don't know when it dropped off and when it started, I'm going to say within the past 15 years or so. I mean, there was, uh, used to always take my kids when they were little. And I remember it dropping off probably, yeah, it was probably about 15 years ago, I would say, because Ethan's 18 now, so he was probably like three or four. Miss Renee says, uh, total right now is six sixty eight thirty in her PayPal. And then we got what we got that came in on the super chats here, so you're almost you're almost at eight hundred. Seven so your total is seven sixty eight thirty right now. Seven sixty eight thirty. Hey Bob. Taking off, man. So hopefully soon I'm gonna have a place to display that. Uh, Bob sent me fire his fire helmet, a fire helmet. Pretty sure it was probably one of his, but it's leather. It's super cool, and that thing's gonna get a nice, awesome display. It's gonna have a place to display. I'll probably put a military helmet, fire helmet. I don't know whether helmets I can come up. With. Probably another helmet if I can come up with something, something cool for display though. Alaska State Fair started yesterday. I wonder what they, what are they, is, is it decent? I envision the Alaska State Fair to be like, like our county fair. <laughs> It'd be kind of, kind of puny. Alaska State Fair. Oh, no, it is not. It's actually a pretty good size. It's nothing like the Ohio State Fair, it doesn't look like, but uh, the Ohio State Fair, I guess, is ridiculous. I've never been to it. I've seen it on television, and I've seen pictures and stuff, but I've never been. Like I said, uh, Blindside was telling me he went, and his, um, his old lady actually got hurt there. Uh, hurt her back, broke her back. You know the slides? Like where you sit on a blanket? Not a blanket. <sighs> Burlap sack, like where you sit on like a burlap sack. That's where she got hurt. She broke her back. Mike says the Ohio State Fair is great. I've got I've got to go, man. Like here I am, forty years old, and I still haven't went. And I've been saying, well, I used to say years ago, after I got hurt, I didn't think about that stuff. None of that stuff. Didn't think about 
yeah, I didn't think about any of that. Kentucky State Fair is big. I know, like I said, Blindside said Tennessee's is starting. This it must be this week, or did he say it starts next weekend? I can't remember. He told me that the other day, so maybe he meant this. This starts this weekend and runs through this coming week. Not sure. I have to look it up. I don't know that I would drive to Tennessee to go to a fair. Like probably not, because I'd much rather. I want to go to the Ohio State Fair, but it, like I, said, I just missed it, so I got to wait a whole another year. The Big E is the one here uh, in New England. It's pretty huge. Viper says the Big E. You know, I, you, this got me thinking. Which G. Schultz can appreciate this. I know he's not feeling good. I don't know if he's still here, but he is somewhat of an, an aficionado of the. Um, World's Fair history. And I would love... Whoa, don't spill my coffee. No, you cannot get up there and eat more chicken. Your stomach is literally ready to pop. You're so full. But I would love to see them bring back the World's Fair. And that's where they like go and they, they'll showcase new technologies, new vehicles, new, uh, new food technologies. like All kinds of stuff has been unveiled at world's fairs beers like i've had beers that were world fairs uh award winners or they were premiered there or something like that i can't remember what uh those world's fair beers i had were the alaska t the, the pictures of the alaska state fair tickets online alaska state fairs just the state fairgrounds they got some, a few rides. Ferris wheel. Yeah, your gut's rolling, ain't it? I just, she went. Stomach's rolling. Yeah, you shouldn't eat so much. You shouldn't eat so much. You need to go drink some water, honey. Go drink some water. I don't have any to give you right here. What are you doing, Stella? What are you doing? Meow. Elon Musk is the closest thing we get to the World's Fair. These, yeah, that's that's true. I would agree with that, Daniel. I've been seeing a lot of uh, negativity towards Elon uh, recently. And if you go back through his past a little bit, like he had this, um, I would call it an awkward stage where he was uh, on the the geeky side where he was also, he had new money and he spent money on like ridiculous things. Like he bought a, he bought a McLaren, it was like one of three, I think, and totaled it like really bad, but um Obviously, I think he's he's grown a lot as a human being. I don't know the guy personally. I mean, I don't know how many people do know him personally. Uh, I do like a lot of the things that he does. I like the way he's, um, I like his schooling for for kids, the way he's got school set up. Uh, I like a lot of his ideas on, on things, and I disagree with him on things, too. Um, I don't know f for sure that... Uh, what he says about Mars, that, he, that we're going to be able to send people there and bring them back. And may, I, don't even, I don't even know if it's going to happen in our lifetime. Maybe it will. He seems to think it's going to happen real soon. But, yeah, I don't know. Hey, Tacky. I want to say Tacky. What's up, Tacky? What's up, guys? I, I know you're looking at my ugly mug, but it's maybe better than looking at... Old MRE food, I don't know. You guys be the judge here. I'm going to let the dog out real quick. I hear you. Come on.
right, I'll turn it back around on my ugly mug now. <sighs> I got, see, my ugly mugs. <laughs> Those are good mugs. I don't know what uh, Art and Nina got going on as far as MRE, foreignmre.com. I don't know what they got going on. I haven't went to their website in a minute. But there has been some fresher MREs popping up recently. According to Trucker, that's what he told me. He said he's picked up a lot of fresher stuff. I picked up a lot of old stuff recently. Um, not that the competition hasn't been there, because it has. It's just been, uh, yeah, it's been there. <laughs> Finally, another Canadian. Who's the other Canadian that's in here? What's up, Josh? Occupy Mars. <laughs> <coughs> Did he start that hashtag? Yeah, some folks pronounce it like it's a K, but it's a C. Thatchy? Thatchy? That's. That. Thassy? 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 Be ca, could it say, uh, C makes a K sound like Mike, M I C microphone Mike. <sighs> Last drink of the uh, cocoa beverage powder. Royal Canadian Navy, and collecting IMP menus. Old or new. Collecting old or new IMP menus. All of them. <laughs> Good luck with that. Now, if you're in right now, I mean, I would say get them newer ones, man. And, and uh, Which everybody loved to have the new ones. I don't know if they've made good menu changes or bad menu changes recently. Because I've heard, I've heard it goes both ways. I've heard people like the new IMP menus. And I've heard that some people saying that they prefer... The older IMP menus, like 2016, 17, 18-ish. 2016, 17, 18, 19? 19 bag or no? 19 was the last year for the, or I mean, 19 plastic bag or paper bag. I can't remember. I think 2020 was the, uh, uh, smoked meat with mustard sauce. Um, I have had that menu one time. I actually filmed the video with uh, the smoked meat with mustard sauce. I think that's the one I filmed. Like, fancy menu. That's a pretty fancy menu for an MRE especially. Or for a ration, I should say. For an IMP. 19 was paper, 20 was plastic. That's what I thought. I wasn't 100% sure on that. I couldn't remember. Because uh, the one that uh, Bourbon Street Joe sent me was a 20. And I wasn't sure if they switched to 19. Like, I knew that. I got a bunch of 19s. Okay, so I guess what I was trying to say then was I've heard people preferring the like 16 to 19 menus and like the 21, 22s, 21, something like that, that they're they're not as good. Um, there's an auction Friday. We can donate some items. Oh. Um, if you got, if anybody wants to do something like that, um. I hate to have to ship it twice. So, what you could do would be just to send me pictures, I think, would be fine. And we can do it that way. And then we'll just, you know, take care of the shipping directly from whoever wants to do that. And that way, History Savior doesn't have to do that either. He can send me pictures of whatever it is. And, uh, and I can, I can showcase him on a, uh, on a tablet. Or on the laptop or something like that. Some Something on a bigger screen. Which, I mean, I don't know. Let me see what happens when I... I'm clicking into this picture. 
Click this light off. Would that work on an auction? Well, well, not that way it won't. And squeeze in. And I'd have to set it down on the table so I'm not wiggly. Eh, I don't know. We'll figure something out. Uh, one way or the other. Either. Like I said, I hate to double up on the shipping like that. But I appreciate you guys being willing to do something like that. Um, I, I, I want to try to find, go through my stuff and find some cooler stuff that, um, that folks might be interested in. That pass through here. Um, and then just all the proceeds from that will help take care of Miss Renee. And then we'll see what else we can come up with. And uh, I know it's not going to be easy to, to get everything fixed. She needs to get fixed. We're going to do our best, though. I'm going to do my best to do what I can. So, and you guys have done way more than I thought <laughs> he was going to do. Like, I appreciate every single thing. I don't expect anything out of you guys. And I appreciate you guys being so generous and kind with, uh, with your time your effort, your money. Um, I don't know how, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I thank you guys a lot. Like I said, this is not something I've ever done before. Uh, it's not something I, I plan on doing or ever have done before. But I feel like if somebody in our community like this really needs help and I know about it then I want to try to do something about it so that's what we're doing it's what I'm doing us and you guys have more than stepped up that's for sure so naval warfare Naval warfare officer. Okay, so you're currently in. Yeah, stack those, stack those IMPs. You're in, you're in the right community. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, we all like having an inside connection. <laughs> Love to hear it. Yeah, I know, Miss Renee. Miss Renee would do the same thing. I mean, I have the means to be able to do a little bit of something and the, the fact that it works and it has worked for Miss Renee um, is awesome. It's really awesome because I, like I said, I mean, we, we all know who Miss Renee is by now. We know her character. There's, there's nothing like that in question. Like there, there's, we all know who we're, who we're helping out. You know what I mean? It's not like we're helping out a stranger that uh, might take the money and do something stupid with it or something. You know what I mean? Miss Renee, we know exactly what this is going to do. We know what it's going to go towards. We know exactly how this is going to play out. You know, it's not it's not up for debate. It's not it's not a question. Like the trust is there. What did I just think about? I just thought about something. Oh yeah, I've been wanting to uh, smoke one of these. Dan sent these along. And I haven't I haven't touched these in a while. It's been it's been a good while. Now you said these are more of a common brand over there, or not a common, but like a lower end brand. These Winfield Classics, and their packaging is just awesome. You know, it's a gang green foot with just some awesomeness going on there. It's what you want to see every time you pick up a pack of smokes. Which you know, I mean, I guess maybe it's a great deterrent for somebody. I don't know, but I actually think these are really good. Although, this is a, these, these cost almost as much as a pack of vintage smokes. Well, maybe not. Yeah, probably not. Pack of vintage smokes, four pack, nowadays is costing like, uh, I mean, at minimum like 65 to $85. And that's like if you get lucky and get one for less than 100 But a pack of fucking, pack of uh, four cigarettes for $100, like... And up, hundred. I've seen the yellow ones go for hundred and fifty bucks. Like it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah, ooh, no doubt. <laughs> hey, Tyler Campbell, thank you so much. It, you know, 
that's much appreciated and everything helps mr nade right now that's for sure you uh you're too kind appreciate it thank you so much because uh that's the first time i've ever seen that that you've uh you sent a super chat like that, so it's going to a great person, Miss Renee. Thank you so much. Big, huge, stark difference between this and the camel that I just had. What are you doing? Go get her. Go get Goose. Go get her. Go get Lucy Goosey. Go on. Go on. Go get her. Go. Go get her. They're playing in the MRE, the box that I took the box of MREs out of. Um, I mean, what do you guys think? Do you think one of these, one or a couple of these out of this case would be good to, to have as part of that auction? I can't believe that they turned out as good as they did. Like, holy cow. <laughs> I don't know. It, it's definitely getting, it's getting more rare. Because um, it used to be you would come across some pretty decently edible brown bag MREs like... Uh, Especially the later ones from 89, 90 uh, up to 95. That that range it used to be you'd come across those pretty pretty often, and you would come across the early first first generations, the 80 to 85. You'd come across them that were edible maybe once a year, where they would be you know pretty decent. But it's get it's getting more rare and more rare because people like me open them up like uh, you know I'm opening these forty year old MREs up. You can't put it back together. You can't you can't take it out of, your, out of your gut and put it back like it's once it's open and consumed. That's it. It's gone. It's gone forever. So they don't uh, they're not making them anymore. Obviously, they can't make these. <laughs> can't can't replace them. And uh, I, I feel like they're just not. They don't hardly ever pop up, and when they do, there was a guy on eBay had a he had a case of 1981s and a case of 1983s. The case of 1981s he wanted 500 bucks for, I think it was 500, 475 or 500. And then the case of 1983s, 83s, no, were they 82s? I can't remember. Must have been 82s, 83s. It was like he wanted 475 for the first year 81s, which really first year MREs are 80. I've seen 1980 cases of MREs, so that's technically the first year. It's a, it's not a full year; it's part it's a partial year, I do believe. But uh, and then CT he got that case of 82s for 175, which is our birth year. So I hope that they're in as good a shape as these. Uh, just judging by this one, you know what? I just now remembered. The chicken a la king was on the outside of the case, too. It was next to the wall of the cardboard of the case, so it was pressed against the outside. So it caught the most temperature fluctuation versus the ones, the other eight on the inside, which, I mean, some of it kind of radiates to the inside. And, of course, they're, they're touching, but the sleeves up here, that's the, the edge that it was on. There's no sleeve that goes around that part of the box. So that's the thinnest part of the box, and it, it experiences the most temperature fluctuation. So the, that one that I just ate actually was probably, I mean, you know, that. and The one that was on the other side was the uh, the freeze-dried beef, no, pork patty. It was pork patty. On the other end uh, was ham slice, which I can almost guarantee you will be good, uh, which I don't know what else is in there with that ham slice. I don't know if it's got cheese spread or jelly or what's in there with it. And then uh, there's, there should be some freeze-dried fruit in there. There should be, uh, which obviously there's the free freeze-dried beef patty and freeze-dried pork patty. Uh, there should be a, oh yeah, the pork patty has a freeze-dried hash brown in it. I forgot about that. Yes, how cool. It's, it's just like the ones you get at McDonald's. It looks just like the ones from McDonald's except it's freeze-dried. Super cool. These things are... Well, I packed... I must have packed the crap out of them. She's up there eating that chicken a la king again. I don't know whether I should let her eat more of it or not. 
I don't know. I'm going to feel really bad if she gets sick. But, I mean, obviously it, it's not bad or she wouldn't want to eat it like this, right? You was 3 and 83? Okay, so you're two years older than me, Seth. Depend, well, depending on what month you were born. I was born in June of 82, so I, I just turned 40 a couple months ago. A couple few months ago? A few months ago now? Every little sip, I'm going <laughs> to... I wish I had more of that. Both of those. These early MREs, they there was a there was a coffee company. Oh, I've got to put this up. I've got to put this ketchup up. Cause this has got to go with the the beef franks or or something. I I need to make sure that this doesn't get damaged though. Where could I put? I'll put it right here with this Australia patch. Should be it should be fine, but I'm going to put it in a baggie. That way I can keep even that much more air off of it. Cause I don't want it, I do not want that ketchup to get ruined. That is such a rare thing to get to try. I mean, I'll bet you, if you're lucky, probably one in ten of those are still good. And if the MREs have been taken out of the case and like they're loose, m the majority of those ketchups and the loose ones are going to have. So it, I don't know why it is, but they just don't hold up. Those ketchups don't hold up. And this one, I'm telling you guys, is absolutely perfect. That It's the lightest feeling. It feels like coffee. It's just a perfect freeze-dried powder of ketchup. Which you can use it dry or reconstituted. I think I might... I think I, Sticky Fingers actually sent me one of these, I think, that made it. That I actually got to try, if I'm not mistaken. It's been so long ago, though, that I don't remember what it tasted like. I can't remember if it was like a sweet ketchup or a tangy. I do not remember. My vintage MRE eating cat. I can't believe she's eating this like this. What up, Goose? Hey, honey. Hi. Hi. You want to come and eat some chicken a la king, too? You're going to knock that down. Come here. Yeah, here. I'm sure everybody won't mind seeing you as well. Here. Here, I'll make room for you. There you go. Old Goose. I started calling her Lucy because my son just named her Goose. And I was like, eh, I don't really like a female cat named Goose. So I started calling her Lucy because Lucy Goosey is what, is what her nickname now is. Lucy Goosey. Here. You want some of that? See if you think it's any good. Yep, she's eating it too. If I'm not careful, I'm going to have cats puking all over my house tonight. What would you say, uh, G. Schultz says, is there a better sign that this cat belongs to Smokey? <laughs> uh, well, I don't know how many cats have eaten 40-year-old food, but uh, I know some cats eat uh, vintage food, maybe, or, or outdated food out of dumpsters, dumpster cats, and uh, dumpster pandas. I think a raccoon will eat ju just about anything. Judging by the things that I've put outside for them to eat, they've eaten a lot of things. There are a few things that were, were too bad for them to even eat. They didn't like the way they smelled or tasted. You know, It must have been like the numbing effect or something they didn't like, something along those lines. Because um, I have had food that I put out that even raccoons wouldn't eat and possums wouldn't eat. Yeah, those smokes at Dan Center, uh, the what what are they called? Winfield Classics. They're pretty good. They're pretty strong. I'll say that, but they're not. They're they're nice and smooth. They've got uh, a nice full bodied flavor to them. They're pretty good smokes, actually. 
But that's my next goal is to quit. Well, I think it's about time to wrap it up tonight. You're not in trouble. I gave it to you, remember? <laughs> she's she's jumping and like flying all over the place. Acting super weird. Please, honey, stop eating that. Uh, there must be a skunk or possum out back. You, look, honey, your belly is full of chicken a la king. Here, let me go get the dog. Stop unless I do. Stella, hey. It's just a possum. Leave it alone. It's not hurting anything. Stella, don't. Yeah, so, so I've got a. got what I would call an old possum out there because it's probably it's probably six years old it's 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 got to be getting towards the end because like I can walk out there and it won't run away from me and it's really slow so it just can't I don't think it can really get along I mean it does take off running a little bit whenever I reach down to pet it but <laughs> that's weird I'm, most people don't pet possums but I do had babies brought up there, and I kind of raised them. And I don't know if they still remember me, but I went out there the other night, and one of them, like, literally just let me pet it. So. That's, a, that's better. Where I had to move that camera, I must have put my finger on it. Okay. Yes, they eat ticks. They eat, they eat a lot of the stuff that you don't want to have around, um, which is awesome. And ticks get really, really bad around here every year. So having these possums around, there's like... Uh, I think skunks eat po or eat ticks too, don't they? Skunks eat something. They do something. Skunks do something. I can't remember what. But anyways, there's probably five possums that come around. There are four different skunks now which two of them are new, like little ones. They're little, about, they're about that long. Their tails are about that, that tall. They stick straight up. Um, you know, and it's, it's kind of weird. The possums, they stink really bad. They smell like what you would think a skunk would smell like. And skunks, they don't smell like anything until they spray, obviously. But the, outside of that, just their regular... The regular scent that's coming off of them, I can't smell them. I don't smell them. But possums, if I walk out back and there's a possum either on the back porch or just been there, it smells like there's a skunk there. I don't know if they've been sprayed by a skunk and that's why they smell like that, which I don't think it is. I think they just stink. They smell really, really bad. So, all right, guys, I want to say a huge thank you guys for everything, everything that you've done tonight and Helping out Miss Renee, and I know, like I said, this is going to be an ongoing thing. I'm going to try to put together more things as as the next couple of weeks. I've got a lot of stuff going on here. Um, that's why I think I'm, I'm trying to give myself enough time to deal with the stuff I've got going on here, and to do that. And it's I'm going to do my best to to make it happen because, like I said, it's it's a little. This is a little hectic at the moment but um over the next couple weeks and i will try to make some posts given some ideas i might do like a i don't know like, like a nine photo or you know i think posts i can put three photos in so maybe like a like a four photo square so you can see things that i've gotten picked out that are going to be coming up this friday and I, Viper offered, which, you know, you guys, you don't have to do that. Um, I'm going to do what I can to, to come up with some st stuff that I think people might want. And come up with maybe some B units. Um, I know I've got some some loose B units. I've got, uh, I bought one of the Norwegian rations. Um, I have some Polish rations coming. 
I pray that they make it. Um, you know what I'm saying? Knock on wood. Uh, if the Polish rations make it, that'd be awesome. Which I, they're not going to make it in time, I'm, I'm sure. Yeah, they won't. I don't know how long it's been, actually. It's probably been a month. That's not a long... It takes usually about six to seven weeks, usually. Um, if I'm lucky, I'll get it in six. If I'm not lucky, I might... Last time, it was three months. It was like 12, 14 weeks. It was a long time. They kept them for like four weeks. And then, no, it was awesome because they just showed up. <laughs> nothing. Nothing touched. It was awesome. I'm super happy. Um, yeah, oh yeah. Polish mail is slow. Well, I always do the slow option because it's uh, like a quarter of the price. So I do the snail mail. comes across the ocean. Uh, it's just how it is. And I'm okay with that. It's like I'm not in any hurry to get it. It's it's not that. Like, and who, anybody who would pay four times the shipping, which makes the rations cost a lot more per ration. I mean, it takes the ration cost up from like let's say, let's say a 24 hour ration being like let's let's just call it 35 bucks. It it'll take the price up to 60 dollars. And then, you know, a lot of people try to resell a couple of them just to recoup some of the cost of what they got and it just kind of makes it silly so you just go with the slow route like i do and and pray that they show up but uh what do i have polish wise i uh, i have the one so i sent the one I, I got three last time i opened one on the live stream i sent one to trucker and i have one left so maybe do that uh, Norwegian, so there's some fresh stuff, because I don't have a whole lot of fresh stuff, to be honest, I mean, I got, I've got a, maybe a few fresh MREs, uh, I think I got a few fresh Minotaur things, um, I, I might have, like, an Arctic, maybe, I don't have much when, in, in the way of fresh stuff, I, I just don't, I, you guys know that that's not really what I do, or what I, it's not that I don't care about it, it's just, if I'm going to spend... So if I'm going to spend a hundred bucks, and I see something vintage that I can get, you know, around the, that price versus say a case of MREs, twelve fresh meals that I could eat, I'm going to go with that single tiny survival ration or whatever that's sixty, seventy, eighty years old. I'm going to go with that versus fresh MREs. It makes literally no sense as I talk about it out loud. It's it's the opposite of what anybody with any common sense would do. But that's just how I guess I prefer it. I don't know. Um, and then I've got, uh, what else do I got? Uh, probably can't, I probably can't do like the smokes and stuff without like triggering some sort of trouble or something. So I can't, I don't think I can do that. Um, I have to figure something else out as far as, as far as that, that route goes. But. Yeah, so we'll see how that works out. Uh, vintage stuff, though. That, like I said, I know I got B units. Um, I could probably do uh, some some vintage. Like I've got some really really cool displayable bottles uh, that are still sealed, and some aren't. Some I've drank, but they're still really cool. Really cool labels. Really cool bottles. I've got a bunch of cool stuff like that. Uh, I've got some mountain house stuff. That that could be a thing. Uh, probably got uh, probably got a vintage LRP. I could probably I think I got a spare one of those. I'm pretty sure I, I got a double. Uh, might not be this double menu, but it's double same year. Just trying to rack my brain and think what all I got that I could dig out that we could we could make happen. Anyways, that gives you an idea of what I'm thinking. So thank you guys so much for tuning in, hanging out tonight, and all your guys' help towards Mr. Renee. There's a link link 
it's not really a clickable link, but there, her PayPal is typed out down in my description. If you want to go over there and help Miss Renee out, that is definitely the preferred way to do it. That way, it it's nobody's taking anything. Like Google's not getting anything. Nobody else. It's not it's not getting taxed by anything. You're just able to help her out, and, and nobody's sticky fingers are in there taking taking cuts of it. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, but that is right at the very top of the description. It's at the very top, right? It's, you can't miss it. It's it's right there. I, I describe it and say it's right here. So it's right there. But you just can't click on it. It's the only thing. Um, yeah, thank you guys. Thank you guys to my patrons that hang around and are still over there. Thank you guys there. Thank you guys for spending your time here tonight. Thanks to everybody who has helped Miss Renee out tonight. Um, we are, as she just stated, it's... Uh, Wait, I don't know what she's saying. Oh, yeah, make sure to send it friends, friends and family because you're not making a transaction or anything because that, that's the way it's free. Um, unless you're in another country. If you're in another country, then you pay a uh, conversion fee. Just, you have to do that no matter what. It's just the way it is. But uh, this, is, this is, you know, this is the ration family. We take care of our own. We take care of each other. I try to, I, that's definitely something that, I think we would do for each other. Uh, if anybody else has a channel out there that wants to try to do something on there, I'd say go for it. Uh, the information for that's there, and uh, I need to get a GoFundMe set up. I think that'd be the best route to go when it comes to that because I think most people trust it, and uh, I don't know how easy it is because it's it's been a little while, and I'm just going to tell you my experience real quick is... Um, I tried to make a donation on GoFundMe before, and uh, I, I wasn't able to figure out how to do it. But I am not a good gauge on technology. So uh, that's probably the reason it wasn't already set up tonight. It probably would, I, somebody with some technical ability probably could have had it done in 15 minutes or whatever. And I went on there and looked, and I was like, ooh. This is daunting. Um, and I was like, eh, maybe there's a way to do it where it's just direct right now and I'll get that set up. And so, and I really didn't have enough time with everything else. I had to get set up and get, get started for tonight. So anyway, but we'll try to get that done. Thank you guys for hanging out. Like I said, thank you guys for all your help, Miss Renee. And uh, I really, honestly, do appreciate you guys from the bottom of my soul i appreciate you guys doing that and uh i'm gonna do the best i can to be to do my part to help as well and um let's see what we can make happen like like i said earlier like i i got to talk through that other part that i i would like to make happen and we'll see what i can do with that so but anyways thank you guys again 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 i know i can't say it enough tonight appreciate you guys and I will see you guys um, probably Friday. I will keep you updated through the week if you guys click into YouTube and you happen to see my post pop up. I'm going to try to make multiple posts. That way, most people will at least see something. So, be look, keeping a lookout for that. And I'll try to keep it within a you know circles where I know that other people might be able to tell them. And if you see it and you're make, you've got something on your channel or live stream, something going on, try to mention it on there if you don't mind uh that will help that'll help all anything like that'll help so and all right eeyore dude huge help tonight huge donator tonight um seth dude thank you so much you and b temple both and ct you you guys i know you guys made big donations i think bob might have made a big one as well so robert i mean robert is his name in here we call him bob but uh all right guys I'll see you guys soon, probably Friday. Like I said, I, I got something happening Saturday where I'm going to have to be there. And uh, all right, guys, I'll see y'all soon on the next live stream. Later.